Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am talking about some popular romance authors that I have not read yet. So a lot of these authors are authors that I do want to read in 2019 so I don't know how I'm going to title this video. Popular romance authors I haven't read yet or like books and authors I need to read in 2019 either one. So a lot of these are like OG romance authors and some newer romance authors that I haven't read yet and it's just there's a lot on this list so let's just get into it. There are two authors that I have on this list that I'm pre-filming this video so I don't know if I would have got to them in the contemporary a -thon, but whatever. I'll maybe mention them at the end of this video. So the first author is Mia Sheridan. I have not read any of her books yet. Uh, this is the one book that I own in physical copy of hers and that is most of all you, but her most popular one is obviously Archers of a Waste, which I also haven't read yet and I've heard amazing things about her books. I've heard that they're very emotionally heavy and just like really, really great romance stories and they're written really well and just all of that and so I desperately want to read her books in 2019. I'll probably get to this one first and then Archer's Voice and then I'll probably end up reading the rest but um, because I do have a physical copy of this one I feel like I should read it first but I know that Archer Voice is her most popular one so. Then we have Mariana Zapata who I'm always so nervous to read her books like I have about like three of her books that I for sure want to read but I'm so scared because I've heard her books are so angsty and so like really long and I'm just like not ready for that. I do want to read Colty, uh, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, and From Luca with Love. Those are like the three of hers that I really do want to read. I'm sure I'll end up reading these three and like loving them and then wanting to read the rest of her books. But like these are the three most interested in. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things also. And I know that for a lot of people she's like an autobi author and yeah, I've just heard her books are really angsty and long and I'm just like not emotionally ready for that. So I've been putting it off for ages, but I really, really do need to read her books. Another one is Corinne Michaels. I see her books everywhere and I've read her, like one of her short stories in the Cocktails Anthology and that's it. I haven't read anything else by her. A lot of her books seem like they'd be my thing. So I do want to check out some of her books. The ones that interest me the most are Say You'll Stay, One Last Time, and Not Until You. Those are like the ones that I'm most interested in. I know that everybody loves her books and I just haven't read them yet. I don't know. Another one is A.L. Jackson. I see her books everywhere as well. Uh, Stone in the Sea, Show Me the Way, and More of You are, I think, honestly, they're all of her books I'm interested in. But I've heard hers are pretty angsty as well. Or is that Kern Michaels? Maybe I'm getting them both kind of mixed up a little bit, but I've heard that one of them have like really angsty books as well and that they're kind of like heavy. I don't know, but her books always sound so, so, so good. So I do want to read her books. Another one is Candy Steiner. Is that how you pronounce her name? I'm not sure. I see her books everywhere, especially like her new like series. It's like what he doesn't know duology or trilogy or whatever. I see that one everywhere. I'm iffy about it because I believe it's like a love triangle. So I don't know if I want to read that, but I feel like I do because I've heard so many good things about it. And I've heard great things about the Palm South University series. I've heard that one's kind of like a reality TV show, like esque, like it feels like you're reading a reality TV show. I don't know, does that make sense? That's what I've heard, but I constantly hear good things about her books and I just, I really need to read her books this year. All of these authors, I need to read their books this year. Another one is Renee Carlino. I have never read a Renee Carlino book before and I pretty much have all of her books on my TBR. Sweet Things, Swear on This Life, Before We Were Strangers. She has a new one coming out this year, I think. Although I feel like I haven't heard a lot about her books like I've just 
seen her books everywhere, but I, ne I haven't necessarily heard of what people think. Um, I know that Sweet Thing is her most popular, and that's kind of it, but I'm, I do want to buy some of her books. And then I have two authors that I might have read in the Contemporary Thon, but I don't know, I am pre-filming this a little bit early, so I don't know if I've actually read their books or not. So I'm just going to mention them casually here because if I did end up reading one of their books in the Contemporary Thon, it was just one. So the first one is Brittany C. Cherry. I see her books everywhere and I've heard that these ones are emotionally heavy and gutting and all of that. Um, the one I planned to read in the Contemporary Thon was Loving Mr. Daniels, which you'll see in my vlog if I actually read that. Uh, and I've heard good things about the Elements series. The first one is The Air He Breathes. Uh, I see her books everywhere, like all of the covers everywhere, so I desperately want to read her books because I've heard good things. And another author that I hopefully read in the Contemporary Thon is K.A. Tucker. I own four physical books from K.A. Tucker, and I have not read her books yet. I'm hoping to read Ten Tiny Breaths in the Contemporary Thon. The verdict is still out on that one because obviously I'm pre-filming this, so I don't know. But yeah, I have four of her physical books. I want to read them in order of release date, so that is why I'm starting with Ten Tiny Breaths. And then I'll continue that series and then move on to the next series, which I think is the Burning Water series. I don't know what the series is called. But um, that is part of this series, that series I think, Surviving Ice. Um, and then these are a lot of her standalones. This is like a suspense romance. Uh, he Will Be My Ruin. And then this is, I think, just a normal contemporary uh, until it fades. And I think this is also like a suspense one as well, Keep Her Safe. She has a new one coming out too, and then, oh, The Simple Wild came out last year, and everybody loves that book. They say it's the best book in the entire world, like, a lot of people said it was their favorite book of 2018, so I, I, like, I need to catch up on all of her books, because I have a feeling I'm going to love her books, so I just, I really need to get on it. I really do. So, those are all the popular romance authors slash like OG romance authors that I need to read as soon as possible, hopefully in 2019. Let me know if you've read any books by these authors or if you suggest that I start with a different book from said author, uh, let me know because obviously I haven't read these authors before so I don't really know where to start exactly. And also let me know if there are some other authors out there that I should add to this list that I haven't read yet or that I should keep on the lookout let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!